My method, this method, works in the way that you don't repeat mistakes. The problem is that by watching just a video, that doesn't mean you are doing the thing right or by reading a tab or anything. So the best thing for you is that don't waste time there, <laughs> which you will waste a lot. And on doing things and doing it right, this is a problematic stuff, therefore, in this method, everything from the very first thing, which is how to play a golpe like this, a tapping for the strums we will use, or anything we do, the posture, everything has to be explained on a Skype personally to you. It cannot be given in a general video. Why? Because the speed at which you will work, the way how you will practice it matters. How to practice matters much more than what to practice. Nowadays, every uh, video or tip or sort of stuff in the methods is, is what to do, what to do, but not how. How you will do it. This is what is important. And therefore, by just watching videos, you may grasp 5% at most. And not even that, I have never seen anyone doing that, any progress by just watching the thing. So you need to check what you are doing, that make sure that what you will practice is right and therefore repeat zero mistakes this way. That's why everything we do in the study program, even if it is the simplest thing, to avoid wrong repetition, the only way is that I check personally what you do in Skype. This is the best way for you because you will save so much time. And also because everything has to be personalized. By watching one thing, that doesn't mean I can learn it. So the best idea is that first you understand why I am saying what I am saying. And then the second is that my goal is to make you play better. So, therefore, in this method, in, on a Skype, I will make sure that you repeat no mistakes so that everything you practice is consistently going towards your attainment box, let's say, right? Yeah, instead of wasting time. Because when you, if you repeat anything three times wrong, then now we need to do six right and undo the other three. So you will have to end it up working more or as many people write me emails saying that I am not uh, going faster or I feel I am stuck. Why? Because this how to practice thing is missing. That's why Paco never wanted to do a video like, you know, uh, the Aldi Meola thing or Joseph Triani. Everyone did, I'm talking about in the 80s, this uh, record the uh, music company have these deals of making tutorials from different prominent artists on their style, Robert Redford, like people who were uh, famous in their fields, rock players, blues players, etc. And Paco said, no, I don't want to do that because I feel I am cheating people. I never, this maybe it works in blues or other thing, but in rock guitar, but in this thing, unless you know what is the thing, and that has to be explained personally. So don't misunderstand this, because this channel has 2,300 videos, but all are only a support of the study program, not to encourage the do-it-yourself philosophy. That in this thing doesn't work. It works in some things. I experienced it myself, but it doesn't work on this really. And therefore, that's why we have to emphasize on personal supervision, which is the most important thing. And also because you record your homeworks on unlisted videos, and then you can see what's your progress. This is how I was playing in February, this is what I'm doing now. So, so it's very nicely planned. So you are all welcome, there are no limitations. Everyone can start and join the study program on Skype.
and then attain success playing Paco de Lucia's style. Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucí. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música. Me ayudó porque descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música, debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no?